Welcome back to the GSL. We just saw Into the Rainbow get killed by the chicken assassin himself, New Dawn. Uh, I heard you had a good interview. Yeah. I didn't see the very end of it. The guy uh, had some total disrespect for uh, Into That's, the Rainbow. I like it. I, I, like, I like the trash I love shots. that style, you know, there's man. Always, there's always like, like a, a group of nerds on the internet. They're just, they take themselves like so seriously. You know, somebody's like, well, I just, I think that was very rude. I think you need to show some more respect. <laughs> push their glasses up, you know, sweating and stuff. But it's like, no, dude, it's okay. Trash talk is good. It's it's part of the game. Uh, yeah. It's why we can have dancing Marines and stuff like that. I tell you, I'm going to set that kid an eye drop on a play date. Ooh. I think they'll get along love perfectly just talking talk. about how bad everyone is. Yeah, yeah that would man. be excellent. <laughs> so um, we have our final game for today. Yeah. Exciting one. The most exciting one yeah. of the day. One of the most exciting of the entire GSL. We have Hey Pro playing. Of from course, Team, from Liquid. Team Liquid. Great Liquid. site, TeamLiquid.net, has sent out Hey Pro. That's right. And he is representing. He's their uh, Swedish assassin, man. That's right. Everyone thought it was General. It's not. It's not. General's more it's like April. an army guy. Hater Hate is uh, Hey Pro is like an assassin. He yeah. is. He's very, very quiet and unassuming. That's right. But he's deadly as I hell. I know, man. He's online. Um, actually, Hey Pro was on um, RS with me. Back when I was uh, on RS before I left that team to join your team. This is back when we were playing StarCraft 1. He wasn't as good back then, but he's improved so much now. Yeah, he's been one of the best yeah. servers in Europe for quite some time. StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2. Now, here's a shot of his opponent. It is bit by bit prime dot we. <laughs> bit by bit. I like bit by bit. That's a kind of cool name. I yeah, think. it's actually not bad. He gets better it's bit better by bit. better than the name Hope Torture. Uh -huh. Got about that. Um, so, you know, this guy, obviously, he's on Team um, Team Prime. Even though it says, even though it says Primo, it's <laughs> Team Prime. That's a pre okay. I, there's a glare on that preview screen. I was like, oh, um, no, but uh, he's on the Team Prime, and um, I gotta say, you know, Prime has not had the best representation in this tournament. Yeah. Not nothing compared well, to like what it was like in season one. The leagues are no longer dominated by OGS and Prime. Now it's very much more equal. Yeah, we have the teams. Yeah, much more balance, I think. Yeah. Now here's our Zerg player. Here he is. I love him. You love him. We all love him. From TeamLiquid.net, it is Hey Pro. And this guy I could talk about all day long. One of the older StarCraft Ghosts. Um, yeah, he's from Sweden. And an amazing player, very soft-spoken. In fact, another vegetarian. Yeah, he's a vegetarian. I was giving like him you. some tips on the foods you can actually eat, all three of them in Korea. <laughs> Not very many vegetarian uh, diets you can take out here. Yeah. Uh, anyways, he's a great Zerg, a macro Zerg, a mini ret, so to say. Yeah. Actually, Sweden's got a very big esports scene out there. Yeah. Uh, of course, DreamHack's just now coming up. Speaking of which, Haypro is a former DreamHack champion. Yes, that's true. He won, I forgot about that. Thank he you. won a big, uh, very important StarCraft 1 DreamHack. Right. Just like crushed right through. He's, uh, he's sick good, man. There's no question about it. One of the best players in the world at StarCraft 2. Yeah. Uh, he's really not gotten all that much coverage as some of these other players. He hasn't been to quite as many tournaments. That's true. He's, you know, he... He missed his first uh, GSL, the GSL number two he came out for. Lost by one game in the finals. Yeah. One, two in the finals. But so now he's here. Yeah. Now he made it through easily this time. I don't think he lost a single game. He manhandled everybody. First guy to qualify in GSL, in fact, for yeah. season three. He just so, went right through. Let's take a look at the maps these two Titans will be playing on. We have Blistering Sands, Scrap Station, and Zell Naga Caverns. Yeah, can't really hope for uh, too much better than that as Hey Pro. You know, Blistering Sands, if you're kind of cheesy style, can be quite good. When it goes half map, half map, of course, that changes around uh, for the Zerg. Uh, Scrap Station, of course, you can't really be rushed there. It's a good map for 14 hatchery. And then we have Zell Naga Caverns. And, well, what can we say about that map that we haven't already said? <laughs> Not much, actually. I think we've covered that map pretty well. Now, um, I did talk to Hey Pro uh, briefly several sets ago when he first got here, and he was saying he was feeling a little bit nervous. Um, mm -hmm. You know, this is his first time playing in a setting like this. And, you know, he, does, he said he does feel a lot of pressure yeah. with everybody watching him. Because, of course. Um, for those of you guys uh, who are either you know Korean or don't follow StarCraft, when you're a non-Korean, you really feel like 
you're representing actually the rest of the world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you come up here. It's not just like, oh, I hope I can prove that Sweden's good. It's like, I hope I can prove, um, you know, that everybody, that anybody outside Korea can be as good as a Korean. The countdown started, though, so let's get ready and see what happens. Over here in the red, a very, very worthy opponent here for our Swedish player. He is. Few of his friends here in the audience doing a little cheer for him. Up here in the upper right from the team, Team Liquid, uh, which is actually a site, he is a Swedish player named Liquid Haypro. Liquid Liquid actually is an ancient team. Ancient. It's like people don't actually know that because they assume it's a site. Um, well, and it's, it's obvious. It also is a I site. I know, man. The first leader of Team Liquid was actually uh, Liquid Tyrannosaurus Rex, who then recruited Liquid Caveman, and it's still around today. That's right. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Went through the Ice Age and everything, man. That's Went right. and become became a uh, Team Glacier. It's been around uh, longer than crocodiles, man. <laughs> it's uh, there. You go. There you go. This team, actually, what's funny about Team Liquid is that it started out um, as this team site that had a forum. Yeah. And then slowly all the good players started posting on that forum, communicating ideas and strategies. That's right. And now it is the largest The largest StarCraft, StarCraft site, site outside of China. Yeah. <laughs> it's a funny designation to give it, but guess what? China has 1.3 billion people. Yeah. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of... Yeah. People that could speak but Mandarin you, or Cantonese. You know, what you were saying earlier about, you know, as a non-Korean out here playing in these Korean events, you kind of are representing the rest of the scene because, well, uh, you know, hey pro, he's been a huge part of the StarCraft 1 scene forever. Right. And so everyone's watching him. Everyone wants him to win, no doubt about it. He is a great player, a great member of the community. And that's just kind of the way it is, man. Now, we do see it is a hatch reverse against two barracks, so... <laughs> I wonder what this game's gonna look like, Artosis. It might look pretty bad, but this is a pretty far rush distance on this map. Um, you know, Haypro's gonna have to be very careful trying to fend off this rush. We're gonna have to see exactly which rush he wants to do, though. A lot of these Terrans actually aren't timing out the rushes as well as they can. So we're just going to have to see if uh, it stays that way or he hits it just right and kills the hatchery. Looks like he's going to start the rush pretty quickly mm. with the SCB and the Marine. Yeah, you might be trying to do the one where you uh, wall in the bottom of the ramp. Definitely a possibility, but uh, I don't know. SCB kind of taking a roundabout route. And now... Um, oh, actually, you know what? He's actually going to park the SCB yeah. up here at the Zelnaga Watchtower, so this rush might not be that rush. No, it After looks like all. he's just rallying, wants to pressure a lot of Zerglings out. Now he is making a oh spine ball right away. Back at home, we have, well, drones chasing away. By the way, there are two more barracks being made. So it's very similar to Rainbow's build, but it won't reinforce as quickly. Yep, and, uh, well, the thing is, the spine crawlers, even though this is, it's really smart to get one of these quick spine crawlers when you see the two two racks, you kind of have to get at least one spine crawler. But the thing is, there's rocks at the back of his base, so there's two paths. Spine crawlers are going to be less useful because if you see too many spines, you just kill the back rocks. And there's going to be just so many marines in this attack. Oh my god. Hebro doesn't actually have anything spotting the rocks, by the way, too, which is risky. Mm. Uh, he might want to move one of these overlords over there. Now, the thing is, against this rush, you have to either go Roach or Baneling. Now, the Roach doesn't really work because your economy is so low. It's, like, really risky to do. Uh, the Baneling is the best thing you can do is just get really fast Baneling nest and uh, just clean up the SCVs and Marines with that. Love we'll to see. Does Haypro realize that this is what he needs to do? And the SCVs are coming, Tasteless. It looks it's like time. this Terran wants to just do this... Uh, try to hit this critical mass of units and clean out. Now notice he has been using that watchtower very well. Nothing sees this all coming. He's going up around it to keep it scout, not scouted till the last possible second. Hey bro doesn't have anything over the rocks. Is he, if he goes, if he doesn't need to go up with the rocks, that is. I think he he's sees not it. going to. I think he's definitely going to go in the front. He's got to get those CVs in front though. Probably needs another spine crawler and here. And there's just no way he's going to hold this. 
Here we go. Sorry, hey, bro. Spine crawler is gone. The wings are out, but nice surround. Nice flank in the back here. That's right, a good flank, but this is what happens. You can't go 14 hatch. This is such a hard build to counter. I feel very bad for hey, bro. Well, this is a bad start for him right here. Yeah. I mean, he is, he is dead. There's just too many Marines out. No possibility of making enough to stop that. Yeah, the Queen's cornered. Lings are out, but there's not enough drones here to back the Lings up. Another Queen is killed. Marines are in good position right now. They will take this hatchery out, no question. I do believe uh, this, we're going to see a pretty short game here. Yeah, no doubt about that. Hey, Pro trying to like lure him out or something, catch any reinforcements, work down the numbers. He takes out the hatchery. Expect GG. Yeah, hey, Pro, he's going to get speed up. He's going to see if he can't do something with these Zerglings. He's trying to intercept the Marines as they try to reinforce. Yeah, but in his main base. <laughs> Not enough wings. And yeah, we'll be seeing GG any moment here. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of painful to watch. Yeah. like, oh, let's hide back here. Oh, there's a rock here. We can't get out. No, it's a massacre. That it is. Gross. And April gets absolutely destroyed by the two barracks play into four barracks. GG. GG. Kind of a GG. Now, I want to talk a little bit about exactly what just occurred there. Uh, you know, the two barracks uh, marine attacks are so common on the Korean server right now. Almost every Terran does them almost yeah. every single game because it's so powerful. And April was gearing up for that, but the problem is, as soon as you have those two barracks out and you have a single Marine, as soon as that single Marine is out, the Zerg can't scout you anymore, really. It's, yeah. The Marines are there, they stop Overlords very fast, so you're not even going to try to send one because there's so many Marines, you know there's a lot of Marines, there's two barracks. Uh, Zerglings obviously can't scout. So it looks like this is kind of the new evolution of the two racks because they you just can't scout what they're doing. They could be getting gas for all you know. They could be going Banshee. Uh, yeah. But they're sitting behind these two barracks. They can just add another two barracks if they want, and they're going to have so much more than you what to do with. If you don't have that Baneling Nest, you're out. Yeah, he also didn't have that second sunk up, too. There was a lot of... Yeah. He, he, just, he was not equipped to deal with that many Marines. Absolutely. Uh, and it's a good strategy that Terran's using right now. Yeah, I definitely. know you guys might feel like this is a little bit repetitive, but this is what happens in early This is metagame the metagame shift right now. Yeah, yeah, you know, I was... Seen. I, I've been talking about this build a little bit online, and you know, people are like, oh, wait, what is it? No, no way. Just do this. It's like, no, man, this is actually, yeah. you can't scout exactly what's going on. It's very hard to I'm, deal I with. I want to take everything you're saying seriously, but I just keep looking at you and think you look like one of the Beatles right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I love what they've done to your hair today. It looks very good. <laughs> you're a handsome guy, Artosis. <laughs> but, anyways, everything he said was right. It's true. The countdown has started, and we are going to see if Hate Bro could come back from this. I hope he can. Let's find it if I'm right.